Cup of Adventure, Vlog 101. Waiting at the bus stop, going to get Emma. Waiting at the bus stop, going to get Emma. So I'm here in Emma's hometown. She was on the outskirts though. I'm going to pick her up from work, I'm going to do some shopping. And I think Emma's mum is joining us as well. But fun fact, this tunnel here, I think Jake and Hayden actually made a field down there with. Wasn't there for it, but I am now. Emma also calls it the pea tunnel, but I don't know why. We have a lot of shopping. We're on the taxi back home now. Look at all the shopping. Noctus has come to see what we've got. And all the shopping is in the garden. Because the cat tried to get into the taxi and then ran underneath the taxi. He really does not want to have any fun, does he? No, I think it's because he thinks we're going to take him in. Hello, fudge. Oh. Yeah, how are you getting on with all the other little cats? Do you feel like you've been overruled by Noctus and Luna now? going for a walk. She's trying to find some shoes though, she's got slippers on at the moment. We just cleaned the house today so didn't really have much to vlog but I think we're ready. Hello. Are you doing a video? Yeah. Oh sorry. That's all right. No, right, okay. <laughs> that was dead. Yeah, so we don't have much to film but we're going out now uh, for a nighttime walk. I don't know where we're going but I'm hopefully going to listen to some owls which was the plan. I think I mentioned it a while ago. It might be too early for him at the moment. But we might see some cats. We haven't even left the driveway and we found a cat. <laughs> oh, I hear another cat. Who is it? I don't know, it was a bell, so it must be Noctus. Unless he's inside. Hello, Minnie. No, it's not Wait, is this Minnie or is this Fudge? That's Minnie. That's Minnie. Hi, Minnie. Hey, yo. You want to come over here? Minnie. Oh, I just realised I was filming my hands, not the cat. Hello Minnie, you coming through? Hey. She's your neighbour's cat, right? Yes. Yeah. It's definitely a moving cat. Oh, is it Noctis? Is it Noctis? Noctis. That's is it? Noctis. Hey, buddy. Noctis, Look at that, we found you in the wild. What are you doing, buddy? What are you doing? He's not doing anything. It is Noctis, isn't it? I think so. Yeah, it's not just. It's going to run from oh, you. Oh no, it's got some squeaking again. Oh, he's got something. Yeah, it's squeaking. I did hear it. I think I may have filmed it. Oh, this is Fudge. This is Minnie's mum who lives at a different house. Hello, Minnie. That's Fudge. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> well, to be fair, Minnie is called Minnie because she looks like a Minnie Fudge. So. Yeah, she was called Minnie Fudge, so well done. The owl is just up there. You can hear it. Yes. Thank you, Mr. Owl. And an encore. <laughs> <laughs> so Emma told me the story. Do you want to say what you, the story you told me? Just leave out the place names. Okay. How this whole area used to be a forest. Yeah, basically 100,000 years, 100,000. Good 100 years ago, this whole place was just forest, apart from obviously because it's a village, local farms and stuff. There wasn't much here. And basically that light there apparently could be seen throughout the forest no matter where you were, so you could find your way to the village without getting lost. That's actually really cool though. <laughs> Turns out we'll stay another day because me and Emma have not done much so we're going to go do some stuff today. But I'm playing with the cat. Oh, look at this! The cat is sitting on the chair. It thinks it's humans. It thinks it's people's. Excuse me sir, do you know you have a cat on your table? Did you order the cat? Side order of cat? Emma's tipsy on one can of Bud Light. Don't judge me. <laughs> oh my god, that's awesome. Emma, you missed it. I filmed the mirror. Oh. I think, look, watching, 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 watching. <laughs> Cup of Adventure, Vlog 101. You haven't read that on it though. I haven't got a pen. <laughs> you mean chalk? Anything. Hello, Mr. Dragon. Fist bump. <laughs> you can get a walk-in sauna for £800. Yes, look, infrared fits two people. Oh, nice. Steam yourself out, we can have that hand on. It's Fudgy's birthday, it's a happy birthday baby. Happy birthday to you. The grand young age of 15. And she got, she got a free tuna steak from Pets at Home. 
She likes tuna. Loves tuna. Is that nice baby? Yay! There she goes. Oh! I can't do it one handed. Can you help me, Emma? Thank you. Oh! Oh, you devil. You devil, you. Um. That red big mouthful. Mmm. Oh. Oh, that is an experience. I thought it was. Oh, you were right. Oh. What is that? Experience. I don't know what this is. I think it's goo something. That's good. Salt and caramel, treacle, chocolate ganache. <laughs> I'm going to be fat. Have you had a lovely birthday, birthday girl? You know you enjoyed your little steak, didn't you? Yes. Oh. 15 years young and you're still a pearly little monster, aren't you? Oh, bless you. So I'm back home and I have a letter that is will influence the vlogs. Let me show you. It's from the Wildlife Trust's 30 Days Wild. It's a scheme they're doing where basically every day for the month of June, you have to do something wild each day. And they've sent me out a kit. This is the calendar that they give you, and what you're supposed to do is, on each one of these days, write down something wild that you're going to do for 30 Days Wild. They've got this here, which is an example of some of the things you're going to do. And the plan is that I am going to do this for the month of June, but also show that in the vlogs as well, and try and incorporate them into the vlogs. I know Emma's doing it, Purple Cookies is going to try and help me do it, and hopefully we'll actually think of some fun stuff to do. Also creates content for the vlog, which is great. But we also got some other bits, like these stickers, which are awesome. And then I've also got a little packet of seeds. These ones are wildflower seeds. These ones are a puppy. And actually Emma had the cornflowers, which is ironic because she's actually growing cornflowers already. But I've got poppies, so I'm going to plant them outside sometime in June, I reckon. Although it does say early spring, which is gone. It's just a bit of fun that will hopefully add some stuff into the vlog. I'm also going to do it on my social media. But if you actually have any ideas of what I could put on here to do for the 30 Days Wild Challenge things, let me know and I'll stick them on and we'll do it. Yes. Eurovision time. I'm watching because I love Graham Norton. Some of the stuff he comes up with is just hilarious. I'd like to see the other countries as well. Plus it would be hilarious to see how badly the UK does after Brexit. Yay. We're not at the bottom. Yay. Well, how many do we get from the public? I'm in suspense. Yeah, <laughs> three points. <laughs> oh, I love it. Oh, you got to love it. I just realised then, we came dead last. Mm -hmm. Dead last. Wow. No Thanks, Europe. Yet. Winning again. I've said it before. Hopefully I won't say it again, but I've finally caught up with the vlogs. Yes! Uh, so what I'm going to do to stop myself from falling behind again is I'm going to review each footage from each day on the day, like at the night, once I've finished. And that way it's less for me to edit and hopefully I'll be able to keep on track of it. So fingers crossed it works as I'm going to stick to. But anyway, the question for today is about the 30 days wild. You can see here, here, these are all the suggestion things that you can do on each one of the days for June. But basically I'm going to ask you if you guys have any suggestions and every any like challenges or things you want me to do. It has to be nature related, but anything you think we should add, let me know. But that's this one done, so hopefully I'll see you in the next one, which should be on time, fingers crossed. But the only thing left to say now is I will see you in the next adventure.